they go a slow pace, that'll certainly help uh, Sarsabil, and it'll certainly help the other fast finisher in the group, but they race through the first furlong, and it's cameo performance and ahead in Garam with... Uh, on the wide outside, Knights Baroness, and it's Garam and ahead, and Cameo Performance and Knights Baroness all vying for the lead. Carter Jana followed by Salsa Bill in the groove is a back marker, and game plan is last but one. They race through the first quarter mile, and it's ahead in the dark jacket with Cameo Performance and the light cap. Then behind these, Knights Baroness racing wide, Garam with a red cap on the outside. Uh, then Carter Jana and Salsa Bill followed by in the groove, who has that devastating turn of foot and game plan on the inside and they race through the first three furlongs and it's ahead the racing next to the rails with cameo performance on the outside of her half a length back to knight's baroness showing third and then salsa bill running away on the inside of carter john garam with the red cap shows six game plan and in the groove held up for that late sweep that she does so effectively and they come to the top of the hill they've gone through the first mile and the pace looks steady and strong it's a head leading from cameo performance salsa bill slips through next to the rails knights baroness as they pass the seven closing up on the leaders then garam and carter jana and walter swinburne just asking her to keep a position and game plan and in the groove is the back marker going extraordinarily well as they come to the halfway stage it's a head and ray cochran who won the race on midway lady leading by a half Two Knights Baroness and second and Carter Jana on the outside of Salsa Bill and then Garam followed then uh, by Cameo Performance just dropping back and then game plan and in the groove really cruising Carter Jana of the front three and the betting is the first one to be pushed along but it's still ahead who leads as they begin the descent to Tattenham Corner ahead in the lead from Knights Baroness in the dark green with running next to the rail a uh, Salsa Bill in blue behind these Carter Jana looks cooked in the groove comes with a run game plan full of running in behind them as ahead goes for home they race down to the three. Garam is last. Carter Jana last with one. Walter Swinburne's accepted it. And it's Knight Baroness, but here on the outside in the yellow cap comes Glame Plan. Salsaville looking for room and finds it and goes well and quickens up and comes to take the gold seal oaks. It's Salsaville and Willie Carson driving for home. They've taken a length out of the others. Uh, Knight Baroness ahead next to the rails is very tired. In the group, Paul Boy can't find more. And they come inside the final furlong. And it's Salsaville well clear of game plan in the group could get a place but salsa bill driven up towards the line and salsa bill finding extra pace and willie carson wins the race yet again and salsa bill is the winner game plan a big run for second night baroness third in the group four then came ahead five a big gap to cameo performance and behind cameo performance was garam last was carter jana the result then of this the gold seal oaks the two to one favorite salsa bill has won. That's number 11 on the card in the colours of Hans and Al Maktoum. Trained by John Dunlop, who won the race uh, with Circus Plume, ridden by Willie Carson, who's uh, won the race with Dunfermline in Barim and some Princess. The second horse is number four, which is game plan, a big outsider coming through under South African ace jockey Basil Marcus. And the third horse home is number eight, Knight's Baroness in the colours of Fard Salman, trained at Watcom by Paul Cole, written by Richard Quinn, game plans jockey uh, Basil Marcus, uh, and it was uh, Clive Britton who trained the filly there in the background number four. But Willie Carson in the Nashua colours has won on Salsa Bill, and uh, he's won his fourth Oaks and his 50th winner of the season. And the first sad piece of writing on the wall was that Carter, when Carter Jana came off the bit as they started down the hill, a head still is ahead with Knight's Baroness chasing her, but already you can see that Willie Carson is going very, very well on Salsaville. In fact, there's one moment when he just seems to be just a little bit short of room between the leaders. <coughs> I'm sorry, he pulls round Knight's Baroness goes between her and game plan and the moment salsa bill's nose gets in front it's all over yeah she's quickened away from these other four fillies really well and in the groove never really got herself going from when she come round the bend and at this stage salsa bill's gone for home willie carson we've seen him in this position plenty of times before in classic races pushing head down going for home now and game plan running on really gamely in the closing stages and I think that Knights Baroness just held on to be third she'd always been up there in in the van and she deserves that third place I think just ahead of in the groove Knights Baroness Knights Baroness they're really 
galloping on well in the closing stages. But the filly we're looking at there, number 11, Sal Seville, she's won quite convincingly, answered a lot of questions, John. Yes, the classic form gloriously confirmed. Gloriously indeed, my noble order. Bottle two to one favourite, Sal Sabil. It did touch five to two here on the course. The second game plan went off at 50 to one. 5 -oh, 50 to one. And it looks as though Knight's Baroness is third at 16 to one in front of In the Groove, who was the 85 to 40 second favourite. Clear favourite, Sal Sabil. Those of you who are about the unknown favourites had a right touch there. They were two to one together near the bell by one or two bookmakers. Here it comes now, the third horse. Eight Knights Baroness is third. So Sal Sabil, the two to one favourite. Listen to the applause. Sal Sabil, seven, number four, There is Salsa Bill's delightful pedigree, and the most delightful thing about it in a way is the sensational success of Sadler's Wells. The horses he's got now, Old Vic, just think, Old Vic, 